Hey, it's Allison from Computers.mom, and I lose stuff a lot. I'm constantly hunting for my phone, my iPad, my watch, my AirPods. So I'm really glad that Apple lets me find all of those devices with the built-in Find My iPhone. In this video, I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to use this powerful tool. On any computer, open a web browser. In this case, I'm going to use Safari, but you could just as easily use Firefox or Chrome. We're trying to get to the webpage iCloud.com. I happen to have a shortcut right here I can click on, but if you don't see that, here's what you do. Let's blow it up so it's easier to see. Now in the address bar at the top, type iCloud.com and then on your keyboard press this key, enter return if it's a Mac, or the enter key on a PC. That brings us to the login page for iCloud where you'll need to type your Apple ID. This is your email address that's associated with your Apple account. Click the little arrow at the end of the field and then type the password for your Apple ID account and click that arrow. Depending on the setup of your specific Apple ID account, you may be asked for permission. So if you see a window like this, click Allow and get the six digit code. Now I'm going to move this window out of the way so I can just copy the code onto the web page right there. Let's say trust this browser so I don't have to do this next time and I'm done with that window. Those six digits may also come as a text message on your phone, by the way. Now, here's what I'm looking for, find iPhone. When I click on this button, Apple brings me to a map showing the location of all devices associated with this Apple ID account. As you can see, it takes a little while to fill in, and one of the devices is awfully far away from the others. There are buttons up here, by the way, if you want to zoom in or out, use this plus and minus. So let's take a look at all the devices associated with this Apple account. There are four. You may also see devices in family sharing if you use that. So let's click on this iPad and see what we can do. It zooms in to give me a more precise location, and I have three options, starting with Play Sound. If I can't find this iPad, and I think it might be somewhere nearby, clicking Play Sound will do this. Aha! Found it. Now when I open the iPad and unlock it, it's going to give me a little message on the screen that it had an alert, which I turn off. I'll also get an email to the email address on my account notifying me that Find My iPad alert was played. Zooming in on the screen again, there are two other options. Lost mode enables me to put a phone number on the screen of my device so that if somebody picks it up, they'll be able to contact me and let me know that they have it. And as a last resort, I can use Erase iPad to remove all personal information from that device in case I think it's really gone for good. Now, back to the devices here. Notice that I have exactly the same options for the MacBook Pro, Play Sound, Lock, or Erase Mac. But if I go back to the list, there's one item on this list that is offline. See how it doesn't have a green dot next to it? In other words, it's not connected to the internet. For this device, I have two different options. One, notify me when found. In other words, when it reconnects to the internet and it can transmit its location, it will let me know. And the final option is remove from account because sometimes one of your devices will accidentally show up twice, usually after an update to the operating system. So this isn't really a different computer. It's the same computer twice. So I'm just going to remove it from the account. So that's all there is to it. You can use Find My iPhone to track all your Apple devices. If you have one that doesn't show up in the list, it's probably not enabled. We'll show you how to turn that on in another video. Feel free to leave your comments and questions below and click like if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.